um, this is something we've been talking about for the last couple of years, playing in World Cups, um, playing against the better teams and quotes, um, the more the more that more experienced teams. Sorry, um, we want to play a lot of cricket against the four member nations, really and truly to challenge ourselves and to also show the world that USA to have good cricketers and that obviously USA is a cricketing country. As as it relates to me personally, to be honest, I don't really think too much as it relates to who I'm based in or. Um, who the bowler is or the name that the, the player coming at me um, has or whatever the case may be. Of course, I'm going to respect good balls. I play balls, to be honest. If it's a, if it's a bad ball and I think I can lick it away, I'll lick it away. If it's not, um, then I'll just try to rotate strike, regardless if you're playing against Pakistan, if you're playing against India. I didn't, I actually didn't know anything about the records and stuff until after the game and everybody was telling me, oh, I create history tonight and all that stuff. Um, but to be honest with you, I was just batting and just trying to win the game for my team. All this just come after, to be honest. Welcome to another edition of At The Wicked. We're here with special guest, Aaron Jones, man of the match from the USA, from the USA match, our opening game. Now, we're here with Roger, my co-host. My name is Cavalier Arnold and we're here with Roger. No, Aaron, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be yeah, here. Good to, good to have you here. You must be in, in good spirits after after that knock in, in the opening game. You know, it's a spectacular knock. You know, the second highest score on debut behind the man himself, Chris Gale. Um, that must be that must be good for you. Tell, so tell me what's it feeling like um, after after such a knock. Um, I mean, I, I, I feel really good to be honest. Um, Obviously, to be able to achieve something like that, I didn't. I actually didn't know anything about the records and stuff until after the game, and everybody was telling me, "Oh, I create history tonight and all that stuff." Um, but to be honest with you, I was just batting and just trying to win the game for my team. All this just come after, to be honest. Aaron, um, you know, obviously you played a fantastic innings. Um, that was a chase, uh, you know, a fairly large um, total of 194. Now, after losing uh, two quick wickets, when you came in at, I believe, 42 for two, and you, you had a slow start, I believe you took four or five balls to get off the mark. What was going through your mind um, at that time um, when you were five deliveries, no runs? Uh, and, and what sort of led to that mindset that got you to, to play that absolutely you know, smashing uh, innings? Um, for me personally, I think, um... When I first went into bat, obviously I saw that the guys that bat before me was struggling a bit. Um, mm -hmm. So I wanted to just really and truly see like was the best shots on the wicket, um, was best how was best to play on the wicket, and just basically get myself in a bit before I tried to express myself. And then um, after I took a few balls to really and truly read the wicket, then I just told myself, okay, I'm gonna express myself as much as possible. Especially because we was chasing a, a really big total, I had really and truly had no choice. But to try to express myself and hit some boundaries and if not win the game come as close as possible to winning the game for my team yeah everyone your explosive batting you know caught the the eye of the cricketing world um how will you be looking to maintain such high level of performances um and how have you managed to, to do that under pressure um to be honest with you i think it's a case of um the way how i practice i am very specific as it relates to my training um so as long as I train properly, as long as I get in what I need to get in at training, then I just be 110% confident when I go into bat. Being in any situation, to be honest with you. I also think that I really and truly um, do well under pressure. Um, whether it be me having to score quick runs or whether it be me having to really and truly bat through the innings because the team lost a few quick wickets or whatever the case may be. I think that I, I, I do really well under pressure. So. That was a game that was a bit of pressure. We knew that somebody had to play a fantastic innings, and I just said, okay, I'll raise my hand and try my best for the team. I mean, I've personally seen you play these innings before in um, in in minor league. I remember in 2022 for the Atlanta Fire, you played some absolutely outstanding knocks um, to get your team. I don't remember if, you, if your team went to the final. Did you play in the finals against them? Um, Yes, you have to we get beat in the finals. Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> so, so it's definitely not a surprise for us. Um, but let me ask you this. What does it mean for you personally and for USA cricket to compete and succeed on the global stage, especially 
in this um, World Cup that is being held for the first time on these shores here in the United States of America? I think it's um, I think it's really good to be honest. Um, the way how the team been playing over the last few months. Um, this is something we've been talking about for the last couple of years, playing in World Cups, um, playing against the better teams and quotes, um, the more the more that more experienced teams. Sorry, um, we want to play a lot of cricket against the four member nations, really and truly to challenge ourselves and to also show the world that USA to have good cricketers and that obviously USA is a cricketing country as well. And um, yeah, we've just been gelling together really well over the last couple of weeks and definitely working hard. And the results are coming slowly, and we are very very grateful for that. Awesome. Yeah, with a couple of games already um, in this World Cup, you know, some high profile teams have played. And to look at the, the statistics and see Aaron Jones top of the, the run, run table, it looks good. And you must be looking forward to maintain that sort of, the sort of form throughout the World Cup. Um, you have that high pressure game against Pakistan coming up. You don't want to maintain that sort of, that sort of form. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me personally, I bank on um, being consistent as a player. I think that that's the most important thing. Um, so yeah, I had a fantastic knock and I won the game for my team, but I want to do it over and over and over again as much times as possible, to be honest. So definitely looking to see on top the runs, see on top the more sixes um, chart. And um, yeah, let's see if we can win some more games for my country. So obviously, you know, you won your opening game. Um, you had a fantastic knock along with um, Andrew's house. Uh, and, and the rest of the team. Uh, tomorrow, you take on Pakistan. What is the feeling in the camp um, right now? How are the boys uh, pulling up um, before this um, huge fixture against Pakistan? As you know, this is an important fixture within this group. Um, with, I believe India remaining, a win tomorrow would put you firmly on the way to potentially qualifying for the Super 8s. Yeah, look, I mean, before the World Cup started, um, we've been talking about this. We want to play every single game like it's a final. Um, it's not like it's a series where you could lose a game and still come back and win the series as a tournament. It's a World Cup, so every single win is very important, to be honest. And um, we're going to go hard tomorrow, definitely, against Pakistan, just like how we went hard against Canada. Every single game, we're going to go hard. Go hard. We want to play fearless cricket every single game. And if it so happened that we win the game, it's great. If it so happened that we don't win the game, then definitely we'll take whatever learnings we, we can from the game, for sure. But we're definitely going to go hard tomorrow against Pakistan. All right, awesome. Yeah, and when we look at, you know, going up against Pakistan, that's a world-class bowling lineup. Um, with no respect to Canada's um, bowling attack, but when we look at what they have, that's all that firepower with those team bowlers, you know. When you look at Shaheen Shafridi, you know, when we look at what he's doing, you know, he's, he's up charge, especially in the power play, Harris Wall with his pace coming through the middle there. And and even their spinners, when you look at what they bring, you know, Wazim, Mad Wazim has always been a handful for a lot of players. Um, what were your, well, let me, your strategy and also the team strategy in terms of combating this sort of bowling attack? Because you want to match up that 94, as you said earlier. Um, as, as it relates to me personally, to be honest, I don't really think too much as it relates to who I'm facing or um, who the bowler is or the name that the, the player coming at me um, has or whatever the case may be. Of course, I'm going to respect good balls. I play balls, to be honest. If it's a if it's a bad ball and I think I can lick it away, I'll lick it away. If it's not, um, then I'll just try to rotate strike, regardless if you're playing against Pakistan, if you're playing against India, if you're playing against any, anybody, to be honest. It's no, it's no doubt that uh, Pakistan have definitely some experienced bowlers, but at the end of the day, it's battle against ball. To be honest, we don't play names. Yeah. And as it relates to the team, um, as I said earlier, we want to play against everybody fearlessly. We wanna, we wanna play hard cricket regardless of who we play against. And um, I think as long as we hit our straps, to be honest, we're gonna, we're, we're capable of any any game against any team. Yeah. The surfaces have. Uh come in for scrutiny, Aaron, um, during this tournament. Uh, we saw the games in, in New York. Um, those were uh, pretty challenging conditions. And of course, it appears, based on based on the way you played, <laughs> it appears as if uh, in Dallas, uh, we, we have a pretty good, um, uh, you know, pretty good strip out in Dallas. Do you believe this World Cup will come down to the teams that are able to adapt uh, best of the nature of the services here in America? And do you believe that the United States, as a host nation, have a significant advantage um, being used to these conditions? Um, 
to be honest to you, as it relates to advantage, um, I think the wicket in Dallas is really good, to be honest. Um, I don't think any team will have an advantage there. And for us as a USA national team, we don't play in Dallas often, to be honest. So we don't really have home advantage as it relates to we playing here week in and week out and we know the conditions 10 times better than any other team, to be honest with you. Obviously, the stadium only um, finished getting built last year before the Major League and stuff. Um, as it relates to playing in New York, we never played in New York either because that's the first time that cricket being played at that, sta at that um, stadium as well. So I don't think we have home advantage or I don't think we have advantage because we live in the US, to be honest with you. I just think at the end of the day, whoever adapts to the conditions best and whoever um, take the pressure best as it relates to pressure in the game will come out on top, whether it be USA or whether it be any team you're playing against. All right. Yeah. I I don't want to. I, I wanted to touch on the pitch a little bit more, but I, I think I'll, I'll stay away from it a little bit. Um, and just watch and see how how things play out. Because today, I I can tell you, I was, I really was wondering what was happening today with that pitch with India. <laughs> but I, I'll leave that a little bit, and we will touch on it a little bit more. Um, maybe Roger and I, and not to put you too much on the spot. But those pitches look like they'll be a handful. I can only imagine when you guys. Um, get to, to New York because that looks a bit scary. Um, playing in New York, are you are you even thinking about it? Is it something you you think about? Are you the team talk about? Um, no, not really. To be honest, we just want to um, focus one day at a time. Um, so yeah, we won the first game, and now we are focusing on Pakistan. When we get to New York, then we'll focus on that game. Okay. And and um, let me let me just follow up with um, in terms of the growth of cricket, um, not to have too much on about with pitch and, and, and conditions and so on but in terms of the growth of cricket in the, in, in, the, in america in the u.s um what you guys did in that first game you know just showing everyone that you belong here at a world cup and you can compete because with a with a total um that canada put on the board you chased it down and made it look so easy so it shows the quality of the u.s team um are you how excited are you about the prospect of US cricket and what you guys can do in terms of making a name for yourselves in this World Cup? Um, yeah, I think um, to be honest with you, over the last couple of years, um, we've gotten some great players from various different countries around the world um, coming into USA and bringing a bit of competition, a bit of experience, a bit of knowledge um, to the American um, players. Um, and uh, I think that's very important to be honest to have a mixture of experience and um, obviously some youth and stuff like that and it's been working good with us over the last couple of weeks over the last couple of months that the couple of series that we've been playing obviously um and also over the last couple of years as it relates to infrastructure we've got we've gotten a lot more turf crickets around the world as, um, around the country as well sorry that we could actually practice on turf when i first played for usa um we really and truly didn't have many options that relates to practice and stuff for quality on quality wickets so that is one important thing that over the last couple of years been really good for the team. And um, as a team, I think we're gelling together really well. I think um, that's the most important thing for me, regardless of whoever play. And um, we just want to continue to do well, we want to continue to beat teams, win series, um, win matches, and just bring a lot of a lot more attention to um, the American born and raised people. Because I think we still have a lot to, to, to teach the guys as it relates to learning about cricket as it, re as it relates to coming and supporting cricket as it relates to getting cricket into school system stuff like that and i think that when the american born and raised people come on board it's gonna really and truly grow and um really and truly broaden the whole aspect of cricket in the country and that's just gonna be better outside of that we want to play more world cups we want to um play against for member nations a lot more we want to get test status if it's possible in the next couple of years we just want to grow to higher heights every single day and that's what that's what we're aiming to do starting with this World Cup. Now Aaron, obviously you mentioned um, the international or ex-international players from New Zealand, South Africa, all these countries coming in and then we have people like your players like yourself who obviously played a lot of your early cricket in Barbados and you know other guys who obviously came from India that sort of thing but I think one of one of the things that we would really want to see is the, the born American players um you know the native american players developing their cricket and obviously the minor league has um is a competition that was started about three three years ago do you believe that the minor league 
is is sort of um, achieving its goal as a vehicle to, to develop young cricketers here in the United States. And uh, if it's uh, if it's not you know doing what what it, what, what it was intended to do, what do you think um, Manor can do to make sure that these young American cricketers are fast tracked quickly? Okay, um, to be honest with you, I think the minor league is a really good thing um, as it relates to giving the American born and raised kids an opportunity. Before the minor league, um, it wasn't much opportunity to play quality cricket around the country. So I think minor league is a really good thing um, as it relates to not only playing more cricket, but teaching the American born and raised kids about more professionalism. Obviously, it's um, a semi-professional tournament, but Without minor league um, being a stepping stone over the last couple of years, I don't think that USA cricket would be where it is right now, to be honest with you, with so much people um, being interested in cricket, a lot more people being interested in cricket, a lot more people um, being excited to get into a minor league team and get an opportunity to play against probably like myself or Stephen Taylor or Corey Anderson or Harmeet Singh or Monat Patel or even play with us, not even play against us, not, all, not, not only play against us, sorry. So I think the minor league is a really good thing and I hope that I can continue for years and years to be honest with you because guys like us, we have to retire at some stage, we have to stop playing at some stage but we still want cricket to keep going on and on and on obviously in America and just growing year by year. So minor league is a really good step and um, I'm really happy that minor league have started to be honest. Yeah, I think it's a bit too early for you to be talking retirement. <laughs> not after that, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, looking at the global cricketing landscape here, and um, who are the players um, out there that you admire the most? Who are, who are sort of your favorite um, players in the cricket to look up to right now? Okay, right now I'll say I think it's hard not to like Virat Kohli. Um, with all he's done over the last couple of years for cricket. Um, I really love how he go about his game. I really love how professional he is. Um, I do love um, Surya Kumar Yadav. Um, I like Babar Azam. Um, who else? I like uh, Nicholas Puran. Um, in this last IPL, I've, I've seen uh, Fraser McGurk go about his batting. I like I like his style. I like his um, fearless support to batting. Um, and then guys like um, I, I still I still like guys like Steve Smith. I like David Warner. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I can remember. Yeah. I noticed you first you first said the names that you go up against in this group. So I guess. Let's see what will happen tomorrow. You're know, going up against the likes of Baba Zam, and in a few days' time, then you'll be going up against the likes of Sky and Virat Kohli. So, will you be outscoring those guys in in the games that you play against them? <laughs> yeah, that is the plan for sure. I want to score more runs than them for sure. Um, but let me see how it goes. Let me see what the Lord have in store for me. But definitely, I'm gonna go hard. When I play against them, I wanna I wanna be thinking about. Um, like uh, me liking them batting and all that sort of stuff. After then, I'll have a I'll have a chat with them for sure, though. See if I can learn some stuff on them. But it will put you in the shopping window even more to the to the franchise leagues around the world. It will put you on the uh, more in the eye of cricket cricket loving people. Once you out outscore those those sort of players, once you put them on the back foot, or just 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 beat them at your game, beating beating the likes of Pakistan and India as a US team. You know that would be massive and know it's something that you guys must be looking at you know beating one or two of these teams and getting out of the group must be forefront of your mind yeah definitely we want to win every game regardless of if we play against pakistan india whoever the case may be we, we aim it to win every game we want to win the world cup if it's possible so yeah we don't want to think about okay we're playing against pakistan or we're playing against india and these guys are more experienced than us or whatever the case may be we don't we don't really care about that we just want to play hard cricket as long as we play our best cricket we think that we could be any team on the day to be honest with you and as it relates to opening um opportunities for like franchise leagues and stuff then i think it's very it's highly possible um any 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 of the players on the usa team that do well especially being consistent um, to definitely break into some leagues for sure, because obviously the whole world is watching the World Cup. Yeah. So uh, Aaron, um, you know, in the early '90s, obviously, you know, soccer in America, you know, was not very popular, and uh, then came the 1994 World Cup, which really served as a conduit. 
to really popularize the sport. And suddenly, you know, there was, um, you know, everyone started to play soccer. And then we have the, you know, the United States, um, the soccer league. Um, now in 2024, exactly 30 years later, we have the Cricket World Cup here in the United States. Do you believe this will help to popularize the sport in America? And do you believe that America will now fall in love with the United States cricket team? Yeah, I do believe it's going to do really well as it relates to opening the eyes. Um, uh, people around the world about USA cricket and all that we could bring to world cricket, to be honest. And um, I do believe over the next couple of years, we're going to see some improvements. We're going to see some um, some goals, which I want to mention right now for the team. But um, we have a few goals that we want to reach over the next couple of years. But I don't think with this World Cup um, being held in the country that a lot of people around the world will really and truly pay more attention to US cricket, which is what we want, which is really good. And um, I think that we could only get higher and better from here, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want I don't want us to close without a message. Um, I don't know if um, Roger has any more questions that he wants to post to you. But before before Roger, um, what would be your your message to the fans? Because we know there's a lot. The Asian community is big in the in the US, but you want to because you'll be playing against Pakistan and, and, and India um, starting tomorrow. Pakistan. And what would your message be to the fans um, coming out at the games and fans watching on on television? My message would be um, honestly, I want to, I want, I want 110% support regardless of whoever we play against, whether it be Pakistan or India, whatever the case may be. Um, I think the support was really good against Canada. Um, I've gotten some some messages from a lot of people, to be honest with you, about the way I played and the way the team played, and they're really looking forward to seeing us play against Pakistan and India for sure. I know that. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you for everything as it relates to the fans. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support and. Keep supporting us and keep believing in us. We are definitely going to do our best for sure. Yeah. Tracy. All right. All right, Aaron. So we're going to move into our segment, our hot seat segment, where we're going to fire these questions at you. And you're going to be instinctive, much like you you were during that world knock of 94 or 40, or 40 on Sunday. All right? Yeah. Well, well, we're going to see how... Of Sharpie is at taking those quick singles. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, tunes for soul, classic rock or modern pop? Modern pop. Spicy tacos or sweet gelato? What genre keeps you up? Which flavor defines your taste? That is. Gelato. All right. Screen time. Action packed blockbuster or critically acclaimed indie? Action packed blockbuster. iPhone or Android? iPhone. <laughs> Leather jacket or tailored suit? Tailored suit. Reality TV or document documentary series? documentary series mm. dream drive convertible sports car or off-road suv convertible sports car mm. gym session or meditation gym session mm. harry potter or game of thrones be careful <laughs> I honestly don't watch either, but I'll just go with, uh, let me say, Game of Thrones. Early bird or night owl? And and maybe this one depends on where in the world you are. <laughs> I'll say night owl. A book or a movie? A book. Hmm. Fitness class or solo workout? solo workout mm. board or video games board games mm. and the last one handcrafted letter or email email all right spoken like a through a 20th century in the century <laughs> all right yes there, there we have it, viewers. Aaron Jones, 
joining us for exclusive interview. Aaron, I wish you, we want to wish you all the best on behalf of Biff Cricket on your outing tomorrow and the entire USA squad. I I let's see if we'll see not just a 94 this time, but a centric against Pakistan. And that would set the cat amongst the pigeons. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here for sure. Aaron, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you.